this thing. That's the one right there. Um, this is the Beater Pro, 54 inches. I like to ride mine finless. Beginners, skimboarders, wave sliders. This thing kind of works best in like a longer, slopier wave, in my opinion, or shore break. This was the first board that Catch Surf ever made um, to beat the black ball around here. For those that don't know, black ball is a thing that's in Southern California where you can swim and boogie board, but you can't surf unless your board is 54 inches or less. So that's why Catch Surf made this board originally was for uh, stand up bodyboarding surfing at T Street. This is my favorite small board of the Catcher family. This is the 5.0 Stump. Um, this board for me is like the 54 Special to Blair, but this is kind of like my hot rod board. If you want to do airs or you want to do turns, this thing's really maneuverable. This is the board that I rode at Waco and I rode at Palm Springs Surf Club. Um, this is kind of my favorite little hot rodder. Um, yeah, I love this thing. board is the 60 skipper this is this is my swiss army knife this thing comes with me everywhere it works when it's tiny it works when the waves are really big and good um, it's my go-to for the wedge or if it's barreling really i put the safety edge fins in here because most of the time we're surfing it in shore break or waves at barrel so i want just that little extra bit of protection um, but yeah, this thing comes with me everywhere. If I'm gonna go surfing, it's either in my car or in my board bag. This is, this is my baby. Twisted of the strange, twisted and deranged. I ate that little game you had called Crying Lightning.
the next boards are the logs. Um, mine come in six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Pretty much you gotta have one around here for summertime. Um, they're just really thick, user friendly, um, indestructible. This is the 6.0 log. I use this, I'd probably use this more in shore break. Um, it's still pretty small for me. Um, so this is kind of more shore breaky. It's still really thick though, so it gives you a lot of paddle power. My favorite is probably the 7.0 log. It's just your all around board. You can ride it at Sano, you can ride it at the wedge, you can ride it anywhere really. And then the 8 is just like your ultimate cruise machine. Uh, if you wanna go tandem, if you wanna ride waves that, you know, knee high, that's kind of your board. I think a board that should be in everybody's quiver, whether you're going to the pool or across the world or to the beach out front is the Whomper. This is pretty much in my car, in my beach backpack. From two inch Crescent Bay to 10 foot Keiki, this thing is a must have. You pretty much can't bring this to the beach and not have a good time. You gotta have one. <laughs> Lastly, in my catch surf quiver, I've got the new Crowd Killer. This one's 7.2, um, shaped by Matt Biolas or collab by Matt Biolas. This definitely has the most rocker. Um, it's got like the, the narrowest outline. It's definitely like the most high performance shape. Uh, I've only ridden it at the wedge, but it, for me it works really good, like almost like a step up or a gun kind of a board. Um, Guys like Johnny and Kalani surf this thing out of lowers and they surf really good on it. It's just a bigger, high performance board. Gives you a lot of paddle power, but still something that you can maneuver. Thanks for stopping by. This is my catch surf quiver. Now get out of here. Go see Blair's quiver or something.